Hey there, and how's it going? This is a follow-up to the video that I made recently. Let's run this and see what happens. So the number 83 is uh, it's what you get when you add up 71 and 12. And as you can see, I've put 83 in there. And I couldn't figure out why it wasn't working last night. But the good guys at Tricentis reached out to me, and they explained to me that I need to do the following. I need to go to the module and we have result here. You'll notice we don't have any green steering parameters over here. So let's just do a right click on that and say create steering parameter, control N, control S. And you have to do a specific name, it's called fire event. Now this is what it fires, this is what makes it work, uh, makes the business control do its thing. Normally it would be click, okay? Um, but in this case it needs to be change. Alright? Now if we go back here, it'll be interesting to see if this this runs because I haven't synchronized it. Let's just run that. I want to close that browser. Yeah, okay. Um, let's just run it again and see what happens. That's the, uh, the video that I was, I was given as a guide. Okay, that didn't work. That's okay. Don't lose your heads. Click stop. Cool. Now, let's synchronize. Okay. Now we've up, we've kind of updated it for one of a better word. Let's try it again. Let's close that window. Run it once more. Hmm. Didn't work. Why? Weird. What am I doing wrong? Okay. Um, let's go back to that. Jump to the module. Fire event change. Maybe it needs to be input. Hold on. Let me try this again, guys. I'm a simple man. We still have it open, so let's just run this. Yes. Okay. Let me try that again. You kill the whole thing and then run it from the start. Boom, it's working properly. Big thanks out to the Tricentis Tosca Academy. Um, these are the guys who made this video here. I appreciate it. And uh, let's move on to the next obstacle. Take care, guys. Bye bye. Actually, you know what? It's worth adding in a few notes here. Um, I just wrote some notes. So long story short, the solution to this obstacle requires you to know about steering Xbox controls. So you add the two numbers and type the answer into the result field and this triggers the default input operation of the control. But to make this obstacle work, it's been set up so you have to trigger the change operation. Maybe I've got that the wrong way around. The event handler must be specified in the value field without the prefix on, so for example, on uh, click on input. So you, you can use click, input, select, submit, and change. Um, these are all activities that you get it to operate. And it is case sensitive. And then from the manual it said, typically an input action mode always triggers an event to use the default operation of the business base control. All right, guys, that's something I, wanted, I just want to get across to you. Cheers. Bye again.